Now the important thing here we have to do is basically to add the permissions for allowing the user to go to the phone gallery or to capture image with phone camera. So for that purpose we have to simply go back to the image picker and here we have to read the documentation. So just click on this read me and in here you will see that for the iOS we have to make sure that as you know for the iOS this require iOS 9.0 or higher. So as you know our package is already higher if I show you than for the iOS. First of all we are doing it. So if you go to the port file then our project supports 11.0 are higher than 11.0 iOS version. Okay so that is good and then the next thing that we have to check is basically to add this this on this uh, permission which is describe why your app needs permission for the photo library. This is called privacy photo library uses description in the visual. So we have to add this permission okay and it also tell you that is this is called the privacy photo library usage description. So how we can add this? Well that is simple we have to just go to the to the info.plist file. So if you go back to the Android Studio, we have in here the iOS, inside the iOS, we have, uh, we have this runner folder. Now inside this runner, we have info.plist file. So open this file and now inside here, we have to add this permission. In here inside this dictionary, first of all, Please follow me step by step okay just give some space here extra okay this is just uh, we are going to copy paste something here so that we do not get confused later on. So what we know what you need to do is just copy this key string combination okay key key and this then this string string just copy this and here we have inside the dictionary we have to paste it just paste it two times okay and make sure that you follow like this okay the same format copy it and then again paste it just like this so what you need to do is our first permission the key so the first permission key is as you know it is the photo library usage description which is this one so just copy this key come back to the android studio and between these key tags we have to paste just like this as you can see and the uh, string for it will be as you know this is photo library usage description so we can say this app require access for photo library usage This message will be shown basically to the user okay that is the to allow the permission for it okay so this is the string for this key next thing is next one we have is basically for the NS camera usage description so as you know when your app needs access to the camera so this is what we want exactly okay that is the permission to access the phone camera so for this purpose we have this key so in here we have to pass that and then the string message will be we can say this app require access to the camera for this one okay for this key we have this message which the user will see on his phone when the user wants to capture image with phone camera so the user has to provide uh, permission for the phone camera and the next permission we have is basically for the microphone as you know we are not using any feature which is related to the microphone so that's why we are not going to add this permission as you know it is basically required when you want to access the phone microphone so in that case you add this permission and in the same way basically we add permission which you can see key and then the string message for it key and the string message for it so as we do not need any microphone kind of feature 
in our this project so that's why we will ignore this one for the android we do not need to add any permission it will just work the documentation you can see no configuration required for android the plugin should work out of the box so for the android it is okay now we are ready to test our application so let's just minimize the browser or you can close the browser and then come back here to the project now in here from the widget build here we have to add a condition that is if the image file UI uint at least if the image file is equals to null that is when the image is not yet selected then in that case we will display the default screen otherwise else we will display our upload form screen let me tell you if the image is not yet selected or captured with phone camera then in that case show the default screen otherwise else if the image is selected or captured with phone camera then in that case display the upload form screen so now we are ready to test our application now as you know our whole, whole app, app app background is black that is we are going with the black theme so also for the home screen make sure to give it the background color color start black and same for the app bar we will go with the black color so now we are ready to test the application now let me tell you you have to test the application on your real android smartphone and on your real iphone on the real iphone and on your real android smartphone you have to test this application for the camera feature so i'm going to test it first of all okay i have connected my android smartphone and then i will test it on the iphone as well so the app is installing now on my phone let's just wait for it running now and now I'm going to go to the items upload form so now as you can see currently we are seeing the default screen on our items upload screen as you know that the image is not yet selected or captured with phone camera that's why we see the default screen so now if I first of all let's check this feature which is capture image with phone camera so it open up the phone camera as you can see and now I'm going to simply capture the image using the phone camera as you can see so it is working fine now the next thing is I will go back and I will check it with the choose image from gallery and one thing guys you can see that we have to disappear the dialog box once the user click any option from this dialog box so for that purpose we have to add a navigator.pop that is in our choose image from gallery here first of all we can say navigator dot pop context that is when the user tap on the option and simply close the dialog box same goes for the uh, capture image with phone camera option just like this so now let's just install the app again So the app is running now and now this time let's check it for choose image from gallery so it send us to the phone gallery and from the phone gallery you can now choose any image you want for example if I choose any image let's say this one and here you can see we it send us now to the uh, upload form screen as you see that now when the user choose image from the phone gallery then this contains that image file in bytes form so it simply means that it will display the upload form screen however if the image is not yet selected then in that case default screen will be visible which you already know so I'm going to capture with the phone camera one more time so it open up the phone camera and now let's capture the image for example a dustbin I'm going to take a photo of it click OK and here we go here you can see so it is working fine now also we have to test our application on the iPhone so as I told you 
please test the application on your real iPhone. So anyways, now I'm going to close this and I'm going to open up 